Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to The Messenger. So last time we went through a shoot 'em up section and defeated a robot butler boss on the back of Flying Dragon. What is gonna happen this time? Is that all of them? I think we need one more. Yeah. Okay. As fate would beautifully have it. Yes, I know. One more music note. Yes, and you're gonna tell me about that? Here, let's go this side. So, what should I do next? <clears throat> Using the power of a regal demon relic, the artificer shall send the messenger to the very future he means to prevent. So we gotta go to the future. Uh-oh. Are we gonna be fighting, like, guys with guns and lasers and stuff? Uh, I guess we'll just talk to you. Hey, buddy. Hey, do you want to try my Tower of Time challenge again? No. No. There we go, okay. We just had to... Yes. The abyss stares at you. Oh, no. Stare back. Come on, Cthulhu. Let's go. Oh, boy. It is very much a Lovecraftian environment, isn't it? This is the future of demon world. Our planet. <laughs> what is this place? I sense some of my sisters hiding in fear. I will call out to them. They can help you cross this infected realm. Oh, great. Great. Hey. So we're fighting on the back of a... Wait a minute. Okay. On the back of a giant Shoggoth as humanity crumbles in the background. Now. Oh. This is timed. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So we're going to have... Ooh. Oh, hey, we just freed you. Let's do this. Yes. All right, it's pretty straightforward so far. It's just, it's really cool that it's, uh... Hmm. Wait, that it's a, uh... Actually, we could keep using these, I forgot. We have a... Oh, wait, I need to... Uh, do that. And jump over that, probably. We have the, the windmill thingy. Yes. And we got hit because we don't have the most powerful thing ever. No. I don't know what I'm saying. But the most powerful shuriken in the world. Get out of here. See? Can we just do that? Yeah. We just spam it. All right. This is probably going to get very difficult. Right now, if this is just a taste, it's like... Oh, hey, the ground fell from underneath me. Yeah, right now it's just like, haha. -ha. Um. Oh, hey. Yeah, we got a big maze. We got to journey through the bowels of the Shaga. Interesting. I mean, yes, quite, quite interesting. So is that going to be, I think I have to go up that way. Maybe. Well, we free this one. We just gotta free all of Navi's friends. Woo! Oh, look at this. From their prisons. Alright, so we can go down here now. I don't know if I had to... Woo! Uh, the other one... There's nothing that way. Uh, let's not fall into the seas of... Seizing? Seas of seasoning? Uh, I can't guarantee that that's not going to happen. <laughs> I wish I could. But uh, we're probably going to end up falling in the sauce. Now. Hey. Whoa. Blop. I got to check up here. Every fiber in my being was screaming at me like, check up there, check up there. Okay, there's nothing up here. You know, I'm trying to not backtrack a million times, but whenever I do that and I skip an area or whatever, or just like go a different direction, every, like I said, every fiber inside of me is like, what is that way though? What's the other way that you can go to? Oh, oops. Breaking the blocks. Breaking the law. 
no. This is a cool area. It's pretty, it's deceptive. Like, it's very easy. But I don't want to totally jinx myself, but I just did. Okay, now we got spikes. But wait, there's a... Is, this, is there going to be a secret? There's you all the way down there. Do they change based on the direction? No. Okay, whatever. Let's go. We uh, might work our way over to that one. We probably will. Oh, hey. Uh, I'm just going to keep going. Keep on going. Yes, we're just going to have to make our own pathway through this maze. Just like life. Life is like a maze inside of a giant Chagoth. When you think about it. You gotta create your own path. Forge ahead, always. Never backwards, always forward. We got it. That wasn't, okay. Well, don't say it. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. There's the bowling ball planet in the background, the moon. Got too close to the, whatever. Anyway. You got the key of courage. Appearing only for the one who would venture into the biggest unknown, it is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. Uh-oh. But it is not given freely. Oh, crap. <laughs> Time to... Oh, my. What the heck are you? Oh! Wait a minute. I was supposed to... Oh. That was too fast, man. I didn't know I was... Oh, crap. We have to make it back. Oh, man. Oopsie. This is easy. Oh, my God. We're dead. <laughs> I'm gonna die, like, 5,000 times during this. Yeah, you look at him. He's like, oh, my God. You're on your own on this one. I wish you could help me, buddy, and not just take my money. We need to get further ahead, please. All right, we need to do that to kind of... All right. Yeah, uh... I think I messed up. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting Ori in the Blind Forest flashbacks. I'm trying to get out of the volcano area. The lava. The lava zone. Yeah, this is the hardest part of the game right here. I've already died, like, a bunch. And we're gonna die a lot more, probably. Because you don't... Oh, it's too fast. We just need to keep, like, doing that. Yes. Alright, see? But he's so fast. He, like, just speeds up. Oh, my God. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, my God. What? That was very close. That almost messed me up. But uh, my finger, my thumb right now is like, please release me. I'm like white knuckling it on the, oh, did we make it? Did I die at the very end? No, I made it out. Oh my God. My thumb hurts. I was like pressing down on the D-pad so hard. <laughs> Whoa, you made it back. Never again. This is incredible. What did you find? An abomination I couldn't describe with words. Sick. Anything else? I found one of the music notes. Yes, I knew it. Do you know what this means? I guess we're one step closer to lifting the curse. That and the shopkeeper has to do the dishes for a whole week. You know, thanks for the vote of confidence, guys. You're supposed to be my friends. I won my bet, thanks. Get out of here, punk. All right. So, let's see. Let's see what happens now. Uh, I'm guessing that that's not the end yet. Although we have all these to break the curse. Let's listen. Listen to this. <clears throat> At long last, the melody is complete. Okay, what's next? Heck if I know. What? My knowledge is limited to the prophecy which ends with the gathering of all music notes. Well, someone here has to know. Indeed, brave messenger. It is time for the first of our order to share with you the origins of the curse. Be right back. BRB. <laughs> Let 
This better be important. <clears throat> Behold, the melody is complete. Oh? Impossible. Could we finally be nearing the end? I completed the melody. Do you know what to do next? Well, I guess it's only fair. Okay, I officially forgive you for saying my shop didn't look like a shop. What? When we first met, I was really happy to show you the place, and then you said it didn't look like a shop. It made me sad. Meh. Have you been bitter all this time? I was just trying to do small talk. Sure, whatever. That's behind us now. Seeing how much progress you made, it's about time I filled you in on what is really going on. Here we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> what now? Eons ago, a civilization of giants lived in the clouds, protecting the world from unknown forces. Giants. Centuries went by in harmony, until one day they watched the helplessly as the world suffered a massive flood. And that's Ninja Island. Only a single piece of land remained. There's Glacial Peak. E ever adaptive, humanity gathered its survivors and built a huge temple where they would try to find new meaning. Little houses. The temple. That's us. Answering the call of these troubled times, a formidable couple stepped up to be their leaders. Who... Is it? These are our, our ancestors. Ninja Town. Gifted with a beautiful voice and an otherworldly ability to create mesmerizing trinkets, everyone called her Muse. Oh, nice. She looks... Oh, and he, ever stoic, fearless and mysterious, would become known as Phantom. Huh. She reminds me of Alice from Fantasy Star. After a decade of relative stability, the skies began flashing red, as if a war was being waged against the Sky Giants. That's cool. You got the Sky Giants. The gods. The demons are here. Indeed, an army of demons, destroyers of worlds, had found the human realm. With humanity's protectors soon to be extinct, Muse and Phantom inspired everyone to prepare for the inevitable onslaught. Muse and Phantom. The demon army was too strong, the temple was lost, and Muse was killed while trying to protect her people. No! And without... Inspiration. Fighting back tears, Phantom picked up her final creation to keep as a memento, a music box. Aww. Abandoning the temple to the Demon King, he led the last survivors of his race to the western edge of the island. So now we gotta go to the temple? Or did we already go to the temple? That final stand proved successful, and after instructing his people to rebuild and stay hidden, Phantom pushed his luck. Okay. So who... Alright. Blinded by rage, he darted towards the temple in a foolish attempt to take down the Demon King. Hmm. Insulted by the boldness of this broken being, the Demon King opted for a punishment worse than death. We destroyed the Demon King, didn't we? <laughs> we got his crown. Corrupting his love's memento with demon magic, he turned Phantom's music box into a tether to the human realm. Aww. Every 500 years, they would come back to torture humanity until they abandoned all hope and surrendered to extinction. Never. We stopped it, I hope. Well, wait a, wait a minute. Phantom was forced to wear a cursed mask, which would steal his mind and keep him in a state of perpetual distress. Wait a minute. Did we just help them? Inserted into the music box, he would play the organ forever to keep the relic's magic alive. 
Is this going to pull a 180 on me? In this both mental and physical prison, he would be the one to ensure the curse on his legacy was maintained. But Phantom's will was a strong one, offering lapses of sanity where he would tap into his growing understanding of demon magic. Um, guys? The fight to get rid of the curse would last centuries, so his people would need the ability to cooperate across generations. Okay. At first I was like, wait, did they trick me into keeping the curse going? Alright. Time travel was the key. With his last stretch of sanity, he wrote a scroll, imbuing it with enough power to attune its carrier to time magic. Before losing his mind completely, he teleported his final hope, the scroll, to his people's hideout. Yeah. As they soon realized, the scroll let them see strange manifestations, things not every mind could stand. It's the dwarf from Golden Axe. Only a few brave adventurers had a strong enough will to carry the scroll. They called them messengers. These are the messengers. Look at that cyborg. That's cool. With the ability to step through space-time tears, tears, they had access to the Void, a safe haven outside of time. Nice. Messengers from all time periods would soon gather there, the perfect meeting point for their endless war. <laughs> but as it turned out, meeting denizens of the future, or even one's alternate self, could be troubling for some. Yeah. We all insane. After a few incidents of more primitive messengers going into shock, they opted to conceal their appearance. Behind cloaks. Wait a minute. <laughs> Thus, the Order of the Blue Robes was founded, and together they built their headquarters, the Tower of Time. Every curse cycle would have its champion, who would join the order after passing the scroll to the next messenger. Yeah. With the support of the blue robes, after many cycles, the music box was reclaimed from the forlorn temple. Nice. <laughs> Even though the relic was too pow powerful to be destroyed, a new hope was found that day. So they can make any number of sequels to this game and it would all make sense. <laughs> Mysterious forces of the world started materializing the form of magical music notes. This music, man. After one particularly gifted messenger managed to gather two of them, an idea emerged. An idea crazy enough that it just might work. If they created a melody strong enough to breach the music box's protection spell, maybe a messenger could enter it and rescue Phantom. That's where I come in. So there you have it. I'm not sure what you will find inside the music box, but if we have one shot at saving Phantom, this is it. Be on your guard, his mind will have conjured all sorts of traps. Good luck out there. Oh boy. <clears throat> the music box beckons. Are you ready to face your last challenge, messenger? Oh, yes, I am. Let's go. I'm ready. Shrink me down like Ant-Man going into the quantum realm. Let's go into the world of nightmares, phantom nightmares. Oh my god. Alright, well here we are. 
The land of nightmares. Now, uh, okay. Woo! Oh, hey. Oh, hey. You're tricky. Don't try to rush. <laughs> All right. I don't know if it's gonna try to trick me. We got steam. Oh, wait. Come here. Don't be timed. All right. Now, do we have to go this way? No, nah, we can just stay on here. It's fine. What we want to do, oops, is not that. We just want to hit this. See, I don't know if it's timed. I, I doubt it is. And then we just want to do this. Please don't be timed and squish me. Okay. Yeah, let's try not to get hit because I don't know if there are going to be heals and stuff like that in this. It, it is the final challenge. We do have the windmill of amazing, though. Hey. Okay. I wonder if I could have... Uh, whatever. Yeah. Now, do we want to go back out this way? Maybe. Yes, we do, it looks like. Yes, of course we do. Yeah. So, this game, absolutely amazing, culminating in this. You know, ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, stop it. We got a save point though, that's cool, all right. Oh, hey, let's actually go to the shop and apologize for being a jerk in the beginning of the game. What's this do? Oh my God, wait, all right. So, hello, need anything? Upgrades, no, let's check. I gotta apologize to you. Okay, or maybe. Well, this is it. Is this my last chance to take care of any unfinished business before the big ending? Is a frog's ass water tight? What? <laughs> I guess so. Precisely. What do you want to chat about? Any stories to share? Last story? One last for the road, huh? Why, of course. Here's one for you. There once was a little boy stuck in a well. It wasn't really clear why he was in there. People assumed he fell while playing, or that someone had pushed him. In truth, he had jumped in there himself. He spent years in the well, wa wasting away anxiously, feeling utterly inadequate. He had a deep desire to share his ideas with the world, but shame having played such a big part in his upbringing, his will lay broken. That's why the well suited him so perfectly, a place to hide, where he could be alone with his stories, with no one to mock or judge him. A safe life, unfortunately devoid of purpose, but at least shielded from rejection. One day, as he was role-playing, a wanderer passing by looked down the well. Hey, what's going on down there? He asked curiously, intent on joining in on the fun. Oh, nothing. Sorry about the noise, the little boy replied. And thus, the well remained silent for weeks. The wanderer, patient and compassionate, sat by the well for all that time. His mind was already made up. He would do whatever it took to get that little boy out of there, so that he could share his stories with the world. The creative flame in that little boy's heart refused to die, and eventually he started role-playing again. And so the wanderer very cautiously started interacting with him again, telling him that his stories were entertaining and nothing to be ashamed of. Their friendship built really slowly, based on genuine intentions and trust. A few months later, the wanderer and the little boy were sitting together in the well, laughing and sharing stories. The well became an increasingly hab habitable place, and passersby started looking in. I think I'm not the only one who would like to hear your stories, the wanderer amused one day. I'm too afraid to climb out, the little boy replied. It's okay, the wanderer reassured him. Let me know when you're ready. Years passed, the little boy's imagination becoming more focused, his thoughts and stories shaping into a concrete little world. And then one day, he decided to take the chance. He would build this world and share it to everyone. The wanderer helped him climb out. Aww. The little boy shared his ideas with creators of all crafts. And to his surprise, they wanted to help building it. And so the small team was put together, and he officially became a writer. I wish I could tell you it all ended in fame and fortune, but I trust you understand it's not what this whole journey has ever been about anyway. Aw. Thank you to all the team, the developers of this game. From the writer. I think that's what that was. Got a tear in my eye. <laughs> All right, let's go. Time for the end. All right, so let's hit that. 
Wait a minute. Oh, hey. It got stuck for a second. <laughs> uh, Alright. Boop. And boop. We gotta go up here. Woo! That was close. Didn't realize it was a was, uh, conveyor belt. Alright. Oh, yeah. Don't get too crazy like that, Fury. Don't get too crazy. Don't want to get squishied. <laughs> no squish. Ah. Okay. It's going to get hard. You know that, Fury. Oh, my God. Be safe. Oh, crap. I can't attack up. Dude. Ow. We got the Steam World heist. And we got time. Time is on our side. Don't... Oh. <laughs> Don't want to get stuck on the wall. Come on. Heal me! Thank you. I knew it was going to be a heal. Alright. Uh, uh, ow! Okay. That only does one damage. It's fine. At the moment. All good. I wonder what the boss is going to be like. It's going to be scary. Uh, wait. That's right, you get out of here, bad bird. Okay, we gotta do that. I'm gonna jump on this side. Oh, I see, I see. Wait, no. This is gonna... No. Nah. Alright. Cool. Do the same thing here. Whoops. That sucks. No, we don't want to do it like that. <laughs> that was such a touching story. It really was. So the writer of this game used to live in a hole. Guys, you should buy this game and support people who live in holes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I did bring a tear to my eye. I was like, oh, that's so such a nice touching story. About how he had an idea for a game or a story he wanted to tell. And then he put together a team of like-minded individuals who would help him realize his dream. All right, we're going to wait right at the bottom here. Yeah, that's what we want to do. We just got to time this like this. Just like that. Now. Stop it. We're just taking our time here because... Don't want to die. Okay, now we got to do this. I mean, it's not... It's easy to see what we have to do. Just alternate, you know? But we want to do this. Oh. Do this because we don't want to go too low. Oh man, that was close. Okay, thank you for save and all. It's her, I think. It's me. Oh, it's Muse. I have this. I forgot. I have the infinite, amazing. I mean, the OP. Whatever. <laughs> the OP. Uh. Shuriken. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Woo! That sucks. Alright, let's just... Uh, kill ourselves. Like that. Alright. So, I'm just going to... Edit this a lot. Uh, oh. I was like, they didn't activate. It's like, maybe it's because we didn't attack. But it's not. They activated. But it was delayed. Maybe... Oh, crap. Uh, hang on. Are you going to go... No. You're not going to come all the way here. You got a full heal. Nice. Don't hit the spikes. That was pretty... Sketch. But we did it. Alright, let's just get out of here. We're fully healed. We got to save right here. Alright. Keep your eyes open. I mean, we could just do this. That was a mistake, but okay. I'm just taking my time. 
we're probably gonna have to go down there. Yeah. Oh. Don't take your time too much. Uh. All right. I'm scared of this. I got a duck. Yes. All right. Perfect. Now. Get me out of here. Give me another save point. <laughs> Please. Like that. Alright, so it's just alternating. Just alternating. We gotta go faster. I have the completely mm, wrong time. I wish you would have drawn me a heal. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Please give me a save point. Oh my god. We only got one. Mm. Oh wait. We just this is just a maze. It's okay for now. Nothing can hurt me here. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, but now, mm. can I just attack it through the, come on. I did, I got it through there, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now, we need to, I don't know if I was supposed to do it like that. I don't see how you, whatever. Oh my God. I almost killed myself right there. Please don't kill me. Steam. Please. Oh my god, yes. Alright. So I just checked on the shopkeeper again real quick to see if he had anything to say. He doesn't. I just want to skip anything. Thank you, bat. So these don't even... Oh, but... Okay. It's like they don't even go all the way down. But we got conveyor belts pushing us the opposite way. And, you know, it doesn't matter. You have to duck underneath that. Anyway, to not get killed. Hey, what's up? Uh... Okay. I'm just super scared. Oh my god, I didn't realize that there was no ground. Let's just stick to this. Yeah, and then we're just gonna wanna latch across. It's no problem. Alright. Sometimes I make things harder than they should be. Alright, we gotta heal. Now this. Oops. Ah, oh, come on. Whatever, it's fine. It's just fine. We have the piano. The piano man. This we can't duck under. Do not get underneath one of these. It's fine. Alright, we gotta save. It's perfect. And now, we're gonna... Need to use these as platforms. As long as they don't go into the wall... Uh, okay. I can stay on you, right? I cannot stay on you. All right. But how do I... We gotta do that. See? Gotta get tricksy. We could have probably gone up the other way, to be honest, but it's fine. Wait, is this gonna crush me if I... Yes, it would have crushed me. Oh, we have to go on the other side. You know what? Alright, so we have to... Hang on. Okay, just get up here, hit that. Go back down, we already did this part. It's fine. Don't get crushed. <laughs> don't get squishied. I don't know why, like I never say that ever. Don't get squishied. This game, it's like a, you know, 
Anxiety. <laughs> it's an anxiety thing. It's like, oh wait, let's duck just to make sure we don't have to get a head transplant. Hey, stop that. <laughs> I only have three HP, man. Come on. <sighs> get out of here, punk. Now I got four HP. Thank you. Even smaller platforms, but I mean, um... okay. Well, that was fine. It was fine and dandy. Now we need to get all the way over there while these spiky things go up and down. All right. Good. Full healed. Oops. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, I knew that, that. Ow, I can't stick to that. Come on. What the heck? Oh, man. Come on. This is easy. This is easy. Just keep jumping. You're a ninja. Just do that. It's fine. Now give me a save point. At least the floor is not lava. Not yet. Yeah, wait, we need to... Oh, see? Yes. Alright. Hang on. Clee! Hmm. Because... Oh, how did I slide off the other one? It's like some plat... Maybe I was... Nah, I wasn't pressing down. Man, this is... Alright. There we go. So we have these little... Attack down. Come on. Alright. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I just had to get real quiet there because I was like, wait a minute. And I have to get real quiet here. Okay, so let's go. Let's go and we gotta get... Let's just jump into the spikes, it's fine. Can you not die, please? That'd be great. It's, uh... There, we can just stand here forever. Ow. Oh. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Man. Please. Oh my god, that sucked. <laughs> um, I think I was supposed to keep flying without stopping. Like, fast. Well, we get to try that again. This. This is the thing. Alright, well, whatever. There we go. Now, we need to, uh, <laughs> I guess, get on top of this. And can I please? Okay, whatever. I don't care. We made it. I don't know if that's how I was supposed to, but it's fine. Any way you do it is the way you're supposed to do it, right? Let's see. Is that the right thing? That was not the right thing. Now, there's a breakable block over here. So let's try that. Good. All right. This will open this door. Then we don't want to go in there. Maybe we do. Maybe we want to backtrack. Wait a minute. Hang on. Uh, hmm. Maybe it is. Yeah, I think it is what we want to do. Yeah, because now we just want to uh, go this way. We did it. It's fine. Good stuff. Thank you. Another save point. Excellent. All right. We're going through this whole thing. I might have to break this. I don't know. Hopefully. Well, I'm going to edit it so that it's not two hours long. 
It's not that long yet. It's only uh, like 40 something minutes right now. Alright, let's just go. You can take that. You can take that to the blood bank. Just like Steven Seagal said. Stop it. Don't kill me. I'm a ninja. I'm a good ninja. Some would say, ah, oh, dude, no. No, not these guys. I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's get out. Uh, all right. Oops, that sucked. Get out of here, punk. Now, do it again. You know what? I should have just listened to my mother become a dentist instead of a ninja. Instead of a ninja. Ow. I thought I was going to get crushed. It's fine. I thought I was going to get crushed again. All right. Now, thank you. Let's see. All right. We just got to get across there. I do the music in this entire game is incredible. And right here, I like how they tied in that theme song we made. That was my song. <laughs> nah, it was... Okay. Oh my god, only I would kill myself there. Just wanna wait. Just wait. All the way. There we go. Okay, now... Alright. Uh... That was close. I'm glad that I m missed my jump. Because I was trying to jump through there. I'm glad that they closed like a split second too soon. Get out of here, punk. Alright. Boop. Ah, uh, you got saved by the elevator. Now. Let's see. Ah, uh, man, come on. How do I do this? Just like that. Let's go. Cool. Now, hopefully there's nothing that's going to crush me. Um, so up there, we need to go that way first. So we want to ride this all the way here. Ride the wind. The winds of change. The winds of losing no longer. <laughs> the winds of victory. Get me out of here. Time to go. Time to save Phantom. What's his name? Oh my god. It's all right, I'm a pro at clutch. Uh oh. All right, here we go, guys. It's like giving me Castlevania and Splatterhouse vibes right now, all of a sudden. Alright, so we got a boss fight. Let's talk to you. Chat. Level boss. I think I hear Phantom's tune. Yes, the time has come. Any advice? I'm sorry, all we know is that the curse is very strong within him. You need to do this one on your own. Godspeed, messenger. Oh boy, alright, let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Hello, Phantom. A visitor? I must be having visions again. Are you okay? I mean no harm. Intentions matter little. My tune must be played. It was fated. <gasps> Who are you? Did you get my message? Uh... Uh, maybe? How dare you trespass here? I'm here to help. You have been cursed. <gasps> cursed? It's all true then, isn't it? All of it. But you can end this now. Remove the mask. Preposterous. I shall make short work of you. I'm not your enemy. You created the scroll, didn't you? <gasps> Impossible. How long has it been? Did someone really get my message? Enough. You will pay for your treachery. Listen to me, Phantom. It took centuries, but humanity never gave up on you. Lies, lies, lies. I'm here to set you free. I shall have none of it. Prepare to die, intruder. Uh-oh. <laughs> All 
Oh, I can hit you. Oh, we got baseball practice. I can do this all day. We gotcha. Ah. Okay, this is gonna suck. I bet. Um. Ow. What? Oh, I'm supposed to. Oh, I see. Well, I got all the power seals, buddy. Now I know what I have to do in that phase, so. If, oh, crap. Come on, Phantom. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. It's cool that I can attack the little Phantom things to double jump. Alright. We have the Windmill of Victory. See, he's... Okay, we're taking damage, though. We shouldn't be taking damage this much. Okay, you're gonna shoot giant lasers. Yes, you are. Oh, that sucks. Now I know. Okay. Cool. I mean... Good boss, definitely. Uh, I just need to... Beat you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do this again. Oh, man. What? Okay, well, time to try that again. Alright, let's go. Yeah, take that money. Come in here with me, buddy. It's fine. <laughs> hey. Let's try this again. Let's dance. Alright. Baseball practice. Boop. And... Oh my god, that was close. Ugh. He, the first time, that was easy. Now he's getting tricky. I'm just going to stand here and hit you. Nope. All right. Please. Now I know what to do on this, at least. And that I can hit th those things to stay afloat. It's probably going to get pretty crazy later on. All right. Some more baseball. Oof, that was close. Oh, whatever. It's fine. All right, now. Yes. Still not bad. Not bad. Pretty cool boss fight, though. Definitely. All right, now what are you doing? You're going to do a little Cheerio circle? Oh, you didn't expect me to have the windmill shuriken, did ya? Now just keep hitting it. Why do you gotta do it like... Mm. <laughs> Why you gotta hit me? Okay, we got laser town. Laser town. Alright. Just keep hitting them. We've almost got this, I think. We got this again. Alright. Ow. You're a punk. We got him. Boom. Take that mask off. You don't need it, Link. Uh-oh. Phase two. Hey. Uh, thank you. I... What's going on? The music box. No! All my memories! My love! This is bad. Let's get out of here. No. You gotta let go of the past. I really hope they can make it out fine. I'd love to finally meet Phantom. I'm so worried right now. What if the shopkeeper doesn't get there in time? I knew I should have gone myself. We're here, guys. <gasps> we made it. It's finally over. Oh, it's Phantom. Do you want to try the Tower of Time challenge I designed? <laughs> Give him some time. He has quite—he has had quite a ride. But I've been waiting for this moment ever since I was first given the scroll. 
Can't you just breathe just this once? Uh, what's wrong? The curse, the mask's energy. I don't want to go back, I can't. All those walls. Hey, you're safe now, don't worry. It's here, it wants to take me back. Help! Oh man. Oh, this is bad. As I feared, Phantom was keeping the curse's power contained. How do we stop it? We don't. Its full force has been unleashed. We were fools. That was their plan all along, to let the curse grow in power as we waged an ultimately meaningless battle. Only to annihilate us completely when we thought we had won. What are you talking about? Surely you, want all, you won't all give up so easily. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. It's simple. We have to do the thing. The order is down to the three of us. You know we're no match for such a force. Everyone here has been attuned to the scroll, so we should all be able to do the thing. <gasps> Everyone, with me. Let's do it. Time for Captain Planet to wreck some curse face. That's right, this is us. Who's the boss now? <laughs> um. Oh. Yes, yeah, spam it. Spam it, mash. Get that thing, get that thing. Do it, do it. Ooh, I'm still mashing, I don't care. Mash, mash. Oh my god. <laughs> mashing, keep mashing. Ah, my finger's gonna fall off. We did it. Yes. Is that it? There's a, cr a monkey wearing a skull monkey crown. Sabotage the developers. Man, we did it. Okay, I'm hoping that there's something after the credits though, but here's the credits. We were victorious. We button mashed our way to victory. Literally through the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> this was definitely a sloppy playthrough on my my part, but like it was tons of fun. The writing, dude, game design, direction, writing, code, very, very good. Like amazing. I loved it. I loved it. The writing was insane. Insanely good. The music, really good. Insanely good. Whatever. The whole game, tons of fun. Uh... Like, just a lot of fun to just run through fast and just like, yeah. I didn't even care about dying and stuff. I was just like, whatever. Who cares? Let's go. I've been... This episode has been an hour long, though. So, I don't know. It's going to be a long episode, but maybe I'll, I'll try cutting it down. Anyway, let's just see what happens after the credits here. A hard, hard heart to you, too. Thank you to the developers of this game. This was... Such a great game. A new favorite. Definitely a new favorite. This was... The whole experience of playing this was incredible. I loved it. Now, let's see. Final scene? <laughs> oh, boy. Then the mask shattered into pieces, and humanity was finally rid of the demon curse. The end. Wow. Talk about a long story. Well, you asked... I guess I did. Anything else I can help you with? I don't know. I can't afford any upgrades at the moment. Hmm. Well, do you have any other stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. Nice. Very nice. Was that me at the end? Like, was I telling the story? To be continued. Oh. And yes, there is. There's a free DLC coming out that uh, I think it looks like you go on vacation and then something happens. <laughs> so it looks like it's got that same like offbeat sense of humor and everything, which is amazing. I loved that. The writing in this game was incredible, but uh, good final boss that was interesting, had interesting mechanics. And then a true final boss after that, that was just like a button mash fest. It was fun. I highly, highly enjoyed this entire playthrough. I'm sure that, you know, if you're still watching this, <laughs> I'm sure that you could realize or you know that I really enjoyed myself because I was acting like really stupid, <laughs> really silly through the whole thing. But it was just fun. Tons and tons of fun.
I love this game. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me play it, all right? And I'm definitely going to be playing the DLC. And if there's a sequel, definitely, definitely going to be playing that. I'm a huge fan. All right. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. And I'll see you again, hopefully, in another, another game, another playthrough, another adventure together. All right? Get cheesy at the end. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate you. Have a great day. See you next time. Peace.